That music is so epic, Tony. I love it. Just play it the whole time. like you were dancing earlier. I'm not going to. Come on. Hello, man. everyone, and welcome to the staff showdown for May. I'm Will Hungerford. I still didn't get a haircut. You didn't get a haircut yet. That's Oz. He still doesn't need one. I do. I'm going to need one soon. Yeah, you're looking good. Yeah. You're looking svelte. Yeah. And uh, we're Thanks. playing a little Monster Apocalypse today. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've never joined us before on one of our streams, we do two streams every week for sure. That uh -huh. is totally Dev Hangout totally. and Get Your Paint On. Oh, Dev Hangout. Oh, really? Dev Hangout's you and I. And we talk about CID and what's going on with the game and stuff like that. Yeah. Or any game. We're talking about like Riot Quest a lot coming We've up. We've been talking about, we're going to talk about Riot Quest a bunch. We've been talking about Monster Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. And then get your panel with Jordan Lamb, where Jordan Lamb paints things, talks to you about hobby tips and tricks, and we are live and interactive with you the whole mm -hmm. time. And sometimes other people like Doug will get on there and talk about the lore of models and that, or answer questions. They do see facts during that show sometimes, where they have interesting facts and tidbits about the setting and the model they're painting. It's good times. Yeah. Then we have two special shows we do a month. Mm -hmm. You're watching one of them right now, The Staff Showdown, where we play the games we make. And today we're playing Monster Apocalypse mm -hmm. with some new monsters. Yep. Uh, and then Primecast Live, where we get people from out the company that we normally don't have on the streams, mm -hmm. like Mike Valancourt, yep. like John Swingles, mm -hmm. like Tony Konacek. Oh, Tony's, Tony's always on every stream, just uh, in the background. And we chit chat. Like a ninja. We chit chat. Yeah. So before we start talking about what we're playing today specifically, mm -hmm. let's go through some news because we always have to have news oh, yeah. announcements we have at announcements. the start of every stream we do. Let's get right into Mini Crate. Mini Crate, right now, Asphyxius the Undamned is the current Mini Crate model. Uh huh. That's and Asphyxius when he was alive before the volcano. Yes. And the VIP model is Bride of Arcadius. Yep. If you sign up for a six month subscription, you will get Bride of Arcadius in your next shipment for free. Mm hmm. You go to mini-crate.com, and all the Legend of the Five Rings Mini Crate line just updated. Yeah, we just rotated. The, the, the VIP subscription's on a six-month thing, so you can get the Bride of Arcadius until August 19th, so you have time on that. But that first six-month chunk of L5R is over, yes. and we're on to the next segment. So the Unicorn Clan champion is the current model, Moto mm -hmm. Chagatai? Chagatai. Mm -hmm. Chagatai. I think it's Chagatai. Yeah. And yeah. the VIP model is Shoshuri Sad Sadako. Sadako. That might be Sadako. Sadako? It might be. I don't know. I'm I don't sorry. know how to pronounce I'm things. Sorry for in my the, in the L5R universe. Shoshiro Sadako. Got yes. it. That is the VIP model. It's the European clan champions. There's two clan champions at the moment. So the get it. Yeah. Get in there. mini createcom L5R. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to let everyone know uh, lock and load tickets are still available. Uh huh. It is happening. Next month. A little over a month from now. June 21st through 23rd, pplockandload.com. Yep. Come hang out, play Monster Apocalypse, play Riot Quest with us. Yeah, we're going to have we're gonna have some playable Riot Quest there. Yep, I'll be demoing it as much as I can when I'm not doing commentary or running narrative yep. events Woo! and stuff. That, Tony, was your microphone turned on? Did Tony. Did you yell straight into the microphone? Tony. Professionalism, please. We are nothing but professional hey, on the I'm stream. not allowed to squeak the pig real loud. Which don't do it. He's just off camera. Don't worry. He's he's here. Don't do it. He's always here. And uh, for everyone watching, at the end of this stream, the next Infernal Friday video is actually going to go live as part of the stream. It'll be up on YouTube later. Yeah, as but soon if you want to watch, we are waving goodbye. The next one will go up. And we're not going to tell you what it is because oh. I don't know what it is. So it's a secret to everybody. I saw the beginning of it, like two minutes of it. But yeah, so we, every other Friday we've been doing Infernal spoilers, yes, kind of things. And it's not really spoiler spoilers because it's some things you know, but seeing models for the first time, seeing renders, talking to sculptors, talking to people about development, that kind of stuff. Hot new spoilers. So this Maybe. is something you haven't seen before, have but no it's not necessarily a rule thing or an art thing or whatever. It could be anything. I don't know what it is. It could be a boat. So we're playing Monster Apocalypse. You're playing Destroyers. We are. I'm playing Protectors. Mm -hmm. There's some cool things to show off today. Uh, so first off, I'm going to be playing Kraken Noctis. You are. You're going to be playing Hammerclack. Mm -hmm. But Tony has a brand new camera angle to show off. We do. We have this camera angle right here. So we can show off cards up, up close? Though you can, still can't read that text, but you get another look at the table. More importantly, I painted up... I'm painting up Shadow Sun as my, my first list. I painted up my own... Zor, Zor Maxim. Maxim. Bat Maxim. na 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 Shinobi. So yeah, so we have also the important part about this is you can now see the back side of the board. We always have models that are hiding behind buildings on Montauk maps or on in a War Machine or Company of Iron Games, somebody that you can't see. Now we have that other angle people have been asking for for quite a while. And 
in addition to that, we're playing this, on the neoprene map. This is the neoprene map, the Isle of Annihilation neoprene map, which we still have not gotten a firm release date on, but we're finalizing everything about packaging, ordering stickers and packaging and other things to put it in. So hopefully, very, 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 very soon, we'll let you know when you can buy it. It's felt. It is. It also. It's also nice to roll dice on. Not that we're rolling dice on the map. We're rolling them on the dice cam. Yeah. All right. So ch chat. Everybody, thank you for joining us on both Facebook and Twitch. We will be looking up and trying to answer questions as much as we possibly can. Dragon Pup asks, is there an MSRP on the neoprene mat? There's not yet. There's not? No, there's a hopeful MSRP, but we're not going to quote it because then people might say on the internet, this is the MSRP, and we, we're not, we don't have the packaging finalized, so we have to figure out what it's going to cost 100%. Je Jeff Hanley in chat says, he disappointed I'm not playing Zor Raiden as Zor Robin. No. Zoraiden is going to be Nightwing, and the Shinobis are going to be Robins. With, with fleshy thighs. Do it right. Fleshy thighs. All right. Anyway. Shall we start playing the we game? We should. For your entertainment, internet? Uh-huh. Roll so you goes first. Yep. You, you roll first. Are you going to roll in the box? No, I'm going to roll here. I rolled a two. I almost had too many dice. Don't. This is, yeah, don't. This is not that other game. I rolled. That's a five. Yeah, because you, you roll six to see who goes first in the right quest. Uh -huh. uh, all right, cool. So let's start putting down buildings. Yep. I'm going to put a Mount Terra. I mean... Volcano. Volcano, volcano, volcano. Yeah, but I definitely want mine, because I'm bringing two Mount Terras, two Guard Bases, and a, Sh a Shadow Sun Industries, and I want them closer to me. So, Mount Terra, right uh -huh. cha. Okay. I, I'm going to put the Private Press HQ right out here so you can see its logo in the cameras. Uh, I am going to put, you know what? You're going to just load up. The volcano zone with volcanoes. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of legit thinking about it, but yeah, I'm gonna. I actually, I'm gonna put the other Mount Terra. Ooh, oh, this just looks great. Okay, sure, but it's also the right move. I'm gonna put a skyscraper right there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with a guard defense base? Question mark. No, that's that, silly. That'd be a little. That'd be a little fun to put out there. So if you're unexperienced with Monster Apocalypse, you might not be able to see it. But some of these foundations out here have green borders and some have yellow. Yeah, you and do. During this part of the game, we have to fill the green borders before we can fill the yellow ones. I'm going to do a uh, corporate HQ there. Oh, ooh, ooh. Exciting. I have a plan. I'm going to put a power plant. Why? Right there. Who the hell puts a power plant in a desert resort where there are active volcanoes? You friggin' <laughs> madman. Uh, the zoning laws in Monster Apocalypse are, are very loose. Are terrible. They're very loose. Uh, I'm going to put a guard defense base. Over there? Over here. It's pretty far forward. That's You're that's pretty, pretty far aggressive. forward. Uh, I'm going to put this, this downtown high rise in this last green Kay. spot. So all the greens are now taken care of? All the greens are now taken care of. Industrial complex. Apartment complex. Shadow go. Sun Industries. Uh, I'm going to put my Martian building right there. Radar dish. And then I'm going to put my own industrial complex over here. <gasps> Apartment building. You're going to apartment me? Of course uh, I'm going to apartment you. So I'm going to get a Harbinger Comet Shard right there. All right. And then that's it. This map has a few less building This spots. town is schizophrenic. I'm glad we're destroying it. Hey, you know. Okay, so you place monsters first. Yep. I'm going to go crack an Octus Cha. Like he's rising from the sea? Well, he also can't move across buildings. Yes, so my choice is... He does not have mobility. To and I don't want to walk directly towards a volcano. Come on. He can walk through that volcano. Yeah, but he can't he's flip it over. He's waterlogged. Yeah, he can. He's so soggy. He's oh. So soggy. Why, though? He's not salty. He's soggy. Well, he's probably a little salty, too. He just came out of the ocean. We need to stop using these adjectives. I'm going to put Bat Maxim right there. Okay. Sorry, Zora Maxim. So, air to, I, air I, to surface pretzel says, and by the way, air to surface pretzel is the most that's, ridiculous that's and a, amazing username I've ever heard. Thank you for existing. Uh, says, get him, Squid Billy. So, uh, you couldn't see this when I showed you that card, but one of the important rules on the alpha side of Hammerclack is he has Tunneler, which says allies that start within two spaces of him get high mobility. So, he's dug holes all throughout this. And if you're close to him, he'll point you the direction. So, Rogzor can have high mobility to get through buildings and stuff if he's near Hammerclack. But Hammerclack loses that when he goes hyper. When he goes hyper, he gets very, very angry and stops helping his friends. Sure. Are we good? Uh, we, are, we are ready to go. Let's begin our first turn, shall we? Mm -hmm. So, my unit phase, I'm going to start spawning things. I'm going to spawn three standard... Where's my elite at? Did I not grab an elite? I'll tell you if I put down a week. 
Uh, I'm gonna spawn you three. You didn't grab an elite. Oh man. I don't know how Tony painted them. Probably with orange on the front of the turret. Quick, quick, Josh Cologne or someone else in the building on the chat, go grab something out of the case and bring it down here. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna put down three G tanks. It's like I'm shining the Josh symbol in the sky. No, 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 no. We love Josh. Uh, I'm gonna put doesn't, down. Doesn't seem like he's on there. Josh hates us. Uh, I'm gonna put down three strike fighters. Okay. I am going to see. So yeah, I'm gonna have to bump spawn an interceptor and then have it use an action. So I actually have one extra die to do something with here. Yep. So what I'll do is I'll make one of these strike fighters actually be the elite. Uh huh. Sexy. I like it. I mean. No reason not to. Mecha Jeff says the Mod Poc tables always look so frickin' cool. Yeah. Uh, the buildings being part of your army, but also being part of the board, and the variety of them and all that stuff, really adds to the experience. If you watch some of our old streams where it's just nothing but apartment buildings, as far as the eye can see, it's a little bit more mono and not quite as exciting and cool. Uh, I'm going to bump spawn and put down an interceptor? Mm-hmm. Your so, interceptor's pointing the wrong way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you wouldn't want him driving backwards. He, he doesn't have good rear mirrors. He does thing. whatever he wants, bro. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, okay, this G-Tank's going to come here. One, two, three. This G-Tank's going to come here. Mm -hmm. This G-Tank's going to come... Did someone oh. say elite G-Tanks? Jeff, Jeff was listening. I knew someone was listening. Who needs elite, Jake? Here you go. I need elite G-Tank. Thank you. The backup, just in case. You are... The man. Did you, did you have 20 units in your army? Oh, they, it's because the stars aren't... Uh... No, t I, I asked Tony to paint the stars. We yeah, we're good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jeff Olson. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, so, see, it's, you just you scream out to the universe, and it comes to your aid. So that guy or moves Jeff there, yep. and this guy moves uh -huh. here. Yep. So now everyone is moving faster, which yep. is great. And, and you have an apartment. <laughs> and I have an apartment. <laughs> You know, because yeah. you know for reasons. Apartments. Um, I think what I want to do is go just grab a bunch of stuff, but I think I kind of want buildings as well. So the strike fighters are moving eight currently. Yes. Which is forever. Seven plus one. That's that's not slow. It's not slow. He's gonna move one. He's gonna use his enormous <laughs> gonna, speed to move a space. This one's gonna go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Jeff, seven. Jeff Hanley mentions that uh, he played. He played mono once in high school. They got monster apocalypse. We're talking about mon poc, not mono, Jeff. What is happening over there? <laughs> I'm just interacting with the chat while you're taking your turn. I just have questions. Uh, Interceptor oh. is going to come here. Also, also, by the way, this 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 is the pig cam. Oh, the, Tony's not. Tony's not alive. And I'm gonna drop my shadow gate right there. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Look, look at that. That's beautiful. This is what you need. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That is not what I expected to see, but I'm so okay with it. Okay. Uh, I walked up and I transported the shadow, shadow gate, gate onto, onto that. The, onto that. And then your jets secured those two buildings over there. Yeah. Actually, that's dumb. I'm gonna Why have, is it dumb? I'm going to come here and transport there. Oh, sure. You do whatever you want to do. Now, now I'm good. Now, now remember, now, when, now. These, when these power plants explode, they kill everything. I'm aware. Them. Yeah. So those jets are in a dangerous situation. They're jets. They were born to die. Uh huh. Were they, they weren't born to run? No. Okay, cool. So it's my turn. You can't run as a jet. Yeah. I'm going to see what Chat's talking about. Pig Cam is the, not a hint for the future of CID. <laughs> that would be amazing. People have been asking if Hamilton was a hint for the future of CID for over a year now. If it was up to me, yes. So if I'm I had going, a magic wand, poof. I'm going to put out a saucer right there. I'm not securing this Martian base yet, so that saucer is not free, which makes me sad. Be sad. You deserve it. Uh-huh. I'm going to put out... Let me see. <laughs> it, was so just, I... it was savage for no reason. I'm sorry. I didn't even mean it. Hey, it's okay. I'm used to it. Uh, let me see. Frothy Cat says, the new camera is a little dark for future reference, Tony. Thank you for the feedback, Frothy. Uh, Tony is going to do his magic... That yeah, Tony had the lights set up for the normal stream, and we moved this around testing it with the table. So we haven't, we haven't had the entire setup with light moving around yet. Yeah. So Tony needs to put his little special, 
this special orange light right under this. It needs its own little mini light. Okay, so we haven't shown Rogzor on the live stream yet. I know, I know. Rogzor hate it. has a special ability called High Impact. It it's, says all of the guns of his faction units are better. So all my belchers are going to be rolling an extra blue die when they shoot. He is my favorite destroyer monster by far. Yeah. I like his weird missile fins in his hands slash spikes. Yep. Okay, so uh, these guys are speed four, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, so they can get to where I want them to be. That's cool. I am going to bump. Am I going to bump spawn? I'm just going to spawn all the belchers I possibly can. So let's let's put three more belchers out there. Breaker's Iron, I see you're asking about if there's an FAQ plan for any PP products pre lock and load. Uh, I believe there's a Mompok one coming. There's the Italian dynamic update, which fingers crossed happens today, but things can always go wrong. Uh, but I'm not sure what other FAQs you might be asking about. Let me know if there's something like very specific. Uh, that you have a question about. If you ever have questions about Monster Apocalypse or Company of Iron, shoot them to Oz. War Machine, shoot it to any of us. And then when Riot Quest comes out, shoot it to me. Shoot it. Um, hmm. I, don't have, I don't have as many Belchers as I want, Tony. Ha! I don't think I brought as many of my own Belchers into this. Um, so if you're, if you're curious why my army's a little bit... Uh, haphazardly painted because some of it is stuff that, that Tony has been getting painted for the live streams, like what you're playing with, Kraken Octus and my model, monsters. But Tony hasn't gotten all the stuff that I want this army painted, so I threw in a couple of my own models. Tony, so. you were the best of us. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to bring balance to our model collection, <laughs> not destroy it. Gotta love Star Wars. So <laughs> I am going to bump... Two crawlers on the table. So I'm going to move him there. So you've got four belchers, and then two crawlers, there. and a saucer. Oh, and a destructomite. And a destructomite. That is a hella gold destructomite, too. It is. It's very, very shiny. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Frothy miss, Cat says... I miscounted something. I am, You did, obviously. Oh, wait. I put that guy there? Yeah. But he didn't actually spawn. I, when I counted him, he was, he was a lie. He's going to be this guy over here. Instead of that Destructomite, I'm going to have put a Belcher down. Frothy Cat, if you have questions about stuff like that, you can just email me at hungerford at privateerpress.com, and I can either answer it or get it to the appropriate people. So, like, if it's a question for Oz, I don't know if you want to give your email out on stream. I'm not going <laughs> to. I would rather not So you can have I, a million billion people emailing me all the time. I, I figured as much. I will, I will be that that collection, that lightning rod. Yeah. I, I, I try to monitor places like the Facebook Monpa group and, and stuff for, for big important rules questions that pop up. Okay, we're going to move our models now. Is it still your turn? It is still my turn. So this guy's gonna go there. What is happening? He's gonna go there, he's gonna go there. So now I own that apartment complex. I like it. Ooh hoo hoo, exciting. Pri then, Privateer Heights. Yep. Built in 2015. Was there. When did Mompok first come out? 2008? 2008 was its initial release because it was 10 years between releases. Built in 2008. Yeah. So this guy goes back to here. Hello. He's right there. This saucer is going to go over there. Hello. That crawler is going to move up, and then the saucer is going to drop a power pod on that power point. All right. And then that is all of my dice. What, what, what's up, Tony? Tony's asking us a question. Oh, the qu Tony's pointing out a question that popped up on Facebook. Uh-huh. So the learning curve oh. for Monster Apocalypse. Yeah, the question is from Anthony Baxter. Especially when it comes to kids, like a 12-year-old, for example. So Monster Apocalypse involves some reading. So younger kids, younger than 12, like 6, 7, 8, that have trouble with complicated reading, probably can't play it by themselves. But 12-year-olds, totally fine. But 12-year-olds, totally fine. Now, for safety reasons, I think it says like 14 plus on the box because of, you know, different things in different places. Um, but if you're playing with them especially, then a 12-year-old or so can handle the game perfectly fine. They might not know all the nuances of every single thing, but 
like a card, for example, is my is my pig cam on? I'm gonna call put it the pig, pig cam, cam on. I'm gonna call it the pig cam for for the rest of time now, Tony. So this card, for example, everything has a speed and a defense, and then a couple of rules, and then that's all it does. So like this power pod's job is to sit on a PowerPoint. It's not complicated. And, and most of the units are like that. They have a job they do really well, like the Explodo Hawk flies around and blows things up. So it's pretty easy to get a handle on how things work. And then it's fun for all ages, but especially kids, of grabbing things and body slamming them in the buildings and doing all that kind of stuff it can be a lot of fun. So I powered up for six. That's one for this building, uh, one for the apartment building, one for the industrial complex, one for this power spot, two for the power plant, and uh -huh. one for the... Yep. Uh, Downtown high rise, so six total. Yep. Uh, and then what my plan is this turn is to stop all of your power die generation. Are I'm going to have Crack and Octus double fling. You're going to try that, sure. Uh, I'm going to try and and I might actually have Zor Maxim get in on the action as well, sure. so that you get no power dice, and with no power dice, I should be able to do whatever the hell I want. Well, sure. So Crack and Octus to speed five up to six. Yep. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. uh, then I would need to step, step, step. That would be three steps. That would let me hit him and fling him here. Then I could, that would cost me an attack die. Then I could step, step, and then attack him and fling him there. Sure. Which would take care of that as well. So now remember, Krakenoctis doesn't have to be adjacent to a Oh, I only have to be within two spaces. Brawl it because Ooh, he has reach. He's girl. speed five, but punching wise, brawling, which is standard melee attacks, mm. he can do those from one space away. Mm. So still have to step in the volcano. You have to step closer to this guy, but you don't have to step as close to that guy. Let's do Zormaxim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually don't want to stop and stand on my own spawn spot, so I'll stop right there. Okay. Uh, so let's go with the Kraken Octus party. I'm going mm -hmm. to step. Kraken party. Kraken party. And then I'm going to mm -hmm. step again. So that's two wide dice so far. Then I have to, because I'm two spaces away, I can only still get to count one diagonal. Yeah, you only still get one diagonal, so you're not, you're not within two spaces of him yet. So I'm going to step there. But now you're, now you're adjacent to him, and you're three away from yeah. the other guy. Uh, I'm going to uh, brawl the yeah. saucer. You're going to throw a red die into it? Yep. Because your defense, what, two? I am defense two on a saucer. And yeah. what is the crawler? The uh, crawler's a four. Four. So I'm going to put two red die into it. I hit the saucer. You totally hit the saucer. And I'm going to throw it into that You're crawler. Gonna frisbee it in the crawler. And I just got him. Barely with a four. Yep. So I'll get two red die back mm -hmm. for killing two units. Now I'm going to step, step. So I have to step here and then step here. Mm -hmm. Now I'll take a point of damage from that. No, you won't. When you advance, you're immune to hazards. But I end on it. I step and I end on it. So while advancing, I'm fine, but stepping. Sure. So yeah. I take a point of damage. Yeah. Uh, I will then punch the power pod. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a bunch of dice into it. Three red die into you're it. You're going to try to go after the other crawler? I'm going to put. Five red die into it? Wow. Um, it's defense like what? Four? The pod? No, no. The, no, the, the crawler. Yeah, the crawler's a four. I'm going to put four into it. Okay. So punching the pod. You punch the pod totally. And I'm going to... The pod's th only got two defense. Throw him into the crawler. Uh-huh. Got him. And you got the crawler. Okay. So that gives me two reds back. Yep. And now you should get no power die. I don't get any power dice. You're go. Well, un unless I kill stuff. Yeah, but you have a monster turn coming up, right? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I can I can blow buildings up and stuff to get power dice during my monster turn. You can. Yeah. Uh, I'll stay right there and leave three three white dice in my uh, monster pool. I like it. I don't really like it, but I like it. Whatever. Hammer or okay. crack an octopus. Also, more importantly, you took away my plus one speed too. Yes, my plan was to ruin your plans. So, one, Apparently my two, plan is working. Three, four, five, six, seven. So Hammer Clack can get to there just by walking, because he's fast. Rogzor is six. So one, two, three, four. 
five, six. Oh, in Twitch chat right now, we have just a whole, whole mess of octopus emojis going on. Oh, well, Riker's Iron's here, so of course there's going to but be. But we've got Ponto Horn Brawler. Yes, but. Horn Blower? Riker's Iron started it. Yeah, Riker's Iron only started it. Yeah. Okay, I don't power up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. I walked to there. How are you? And and I can ignore that building because he started within two spaces of, of hammer clock for my tunnels. I like it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I've, I'm there. Uh, this building is easily within range. I have penetrator on blast attacks. Yes. So that building's defense is minus one. So it's down so to it's a five. Down to a five. I have to have to roll a white die to shoot it. I get Ar Ardvark Pepper. I do not agree with your statement that tentacles are your friends. Yeah, they are. Ooh, ooh, Ardvark Pepper's done like some sort of bunny tentacle situation down there. So Runewise is asking, is that how Step works with Kraken Octus? The thing is, we're playing with the map that has the unflippable hazard. Yes. So because I'm in the volcano, normally you would step into a flaming hazard. Flip it and not take damage. Yeah. But this is a unique. This is probably the only situation it's, where Kraken Octus. Right now, it's the only hazard that can hurt him. Yeah. If he could walk all the way through it, he'd be immune to it. You got it. Okay. So, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna shoot this building. Okay. This is not a five. This is probably a two and a half or three. I think you need to spend some more white dice. I do. Unfortunately, I can't get enough power dice out of this to throw you where you've set yourself up to be thrown in these two spaces. Well, yeah. Because that would be one, two, three, four, four five. five. I need five power dice. And I want to keep those two buildings there. So I could, I could have come over here and shot this and blown all that up. Not, the, not both buildings, but one building and all your dudes. Mm -hmm. But why do that when I could leave those buildings to throw you into later? I dig it. Or you could throw me into them later, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? There's only one way to find out what will happen in the grand stage known as Monster Apocalypse. Mm hmm. And I so, believe. What? It so is to do the thing. I'm going to roll this many dice. Okay, you need a five. And try to get a five. This is you shooting here. This is Rogzor shooting the downtown, or the corporate HQ. Show me. Ooh, you're so confident. You picked up a debris tile like I'm going to do this. It's a five. That's a five. Yeah. So I blew that up. So I get two power dice for that. Boop. That building is blowed up. All my action dice go back over there. Then I'm going to mm -hmm. step twice with hammer clack. With hammer clack. Hello. Up to here. He can kind of he can kind of fit in there. Your tentacles. They're so problematic. There we go. I will I will turn towards the Thanks. camera. Okay. So I have to. Red dice, I can body slam you. Yes. If I want. I'm defense nine. You are defense nine. It will be a little harder to body slam you. But I can roll all three of these white dice. And four blue dice. So that probably won't do it. No. But you have some dice left to attack me back with. I have three left in my monster pool. Yeah. And you're going to power up for some because I, I couldn't get over there to, I'm gonna power up for six. to really mess with you. So you're going you're gonna to be full of power dice. So you're going to hit me. With a power attack. Yes, sir. So I'm just gonna go for it and I'm gonna roll a nine. I like the I like the cut of your jib. It's confidence. I mean, I've got three I've got nine dice. That's not how Monster Apocalypse math works. But I've got nine dice. I could roll a nine. Alright. You're gonna if you roll it, I mean you can do it. You're trying to body slam me? I'm trying to body slam you. Go for yes. it. That is a That's a four. That's a four. You, you Which is about what I would expect on those dice, but I could have rolled, I don't know, I could have rolled more. I could have rolled a bunch more. Somebody asked uh, what, in the live stream on, on Wednesday how I was going to cheat during this game. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Uh, okay, so I didn't, I didn't body slam you. I'm done. It's, okay. all my, it's all my action dice. I will take a monster turn. I power okay. up for six again, so I am maxed out at ten. Uh-huh. Why, why is the monster growling when he missed an attack? Tony. That just that seems inappropriate. Tony. So the your defense eight. I am defense eight. If you try to shoot me, I have cloak, so you can't shoot me for more than two spaces no, away. No, I'm not gonna. But try you don't really have any gun monsters over there. 
I think what I'm going to try and do is body slam you and have Zor Maxim then throw you into your own building. Really? With three, with three white dice? Yeah, I got ten power dice. Sure, but stepping... I don't need to step. I'm speed eight, so I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You you can't you you'd have to throw me and then and then no b- me. body slam you then throw you yeah but you body slam me here you don't oh, body slam sorry me. Th- you throw body throw slam yeah yeah throw so, yeah. you then throw you yeah uh, and you're an eight I'm an eight I can do this you can do that easy game easy game come here what's happening in the chat uh, somebody's talking about painting a world wrath okay cool yeah some blank red dice um er, um umercha. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Yeah, but blank red dice are stacked. Uh, I'm gonna try and throw you with Kraken Octus. Throw me with Kraken Octus, you need an eight. That looks like, that's no blank red dice. So I'm gonna put you here. Uh-huh. So I take three damage. One. Give me some of those sweet sound effects, Tony. One for the hit, one for the building, one for the fire. You didn't put a fire over there. I didn't. Oh, that's my red dice. Boom. Then you're going to try to slow, throw me into my Martian HQ? Yes. Oh, that's the rudest thing ever. I get three power dice because... I get three power dice, but I have Penetrator. And I'm going to throw uh-huh. an extra white die into this. So you're a so seven. I'm a seven against this. And I will throw you... You're going to miss? No. One, Ooh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. And I will throw you five spaces. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Squishing my little bros. Yep. And getting four power dice back in the process. So I'm there. And you are hyperformed now? Uh, that is three more damage. One, two, three. So yeah, I'm hyperformed now. So uh, now I don't have Tunneler, but I have Power Gorge on both my Brawl and my Power Attack. I don't, I don't have a Blast Attack on this monster. Team Ninja Squid is done. Team Ninja Squid is done. Mana, 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 and I have mana, all my dice in my Squid. action side. So I have to take, I mean, I'm in my unit side, so I have to take a unit turn. And um, Doug likes the sound effects, Tony. Doug says, keep up the sound effects. You need more sound effects, though. Yeah. An air horn? I don't know about air horn. Like the triple, just like the burr, 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 and just play it constantly. Slow clap. Slow, oh, it's just... We're gonna spawn and explode a hawk over here to take out those jets. Leave Brittany alone. Because those jets are part of your power base and they're getting you three power dice for those three models. Leave Brittany alone. So we're gonna take out those jets. But you also are gonna take a unit turn next, so you can probably set that back up if you want. Leave Brittany alone? That, that's also... Brittany right there, by the way. Oh, yeah, the, the, the elite strike fighter is, is Brittany? Yes. Now, is it the pilot's name is Brittany, or is it like World War II bomber where there's a painting on the side? Both. And the painting's name is Brittany. Both. Oh. The, the, Brittany has a self-portrait on the side of yes. her part, jet? Part of guard recruitment is that you must be named after the vehicle they put you in, but they've oh. already named the vehicle. Oh. So if you don't have a name that matches one wow. of the tanks or planes... this is a planes, really inconvenient system. It's super up. dumb. I don't know why they do it. They're really bad at this, and that's why cities keep getting destroyed. But that's why we've got ninjas and giant submarine-wielding octopi to show up and just beat the hell out of aliens. The future is dumb. It's not the future, it's right now. Oh. Monster Apocalypse is happening in the now. The, uh, one of the expansions for old Monster Apocalypse was even called Monster Apocalypse Now. Of course it was. Yeah, yeah. So I just spawned an Elite Belcher and a Belcher. Okay. So you spawned an Explodo Hawk? Explodo Hawk? An Elite Belcher. Elite Belcher, regular Belcher. Okay. I am going to take a big shot at you with my Belch Party. Oh. You're going to shoot one of the monsters? I'm going to shoot. I'm going to sh- well, I can't really get back farther into your 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 backline stuff. This thing has cloak. Yes. It gives adjacent things cloak. Yes. So I can't shoot it from outside of two spaces. That is true. So, I might as well put some damage on a monster if I can. I and agree. that's a lot of blue dice on those four belchers. Sure. And I have one oh, last die. There's another belcher over there behind Rogzor. I, yeah, for, there's I, another for, I forgot that little bro was hanging you out over there. I haven't killed every one of my units yet. Oz, can uh, you please confirm how much, uh, what the hit point value for four. Hammerclack is? Hammerclack is a four. He took six damage. Thank you. With the old double throw. I hit him with the old WWE move an Irish whip into the turnbuckle, and then I caught him with a double <laughs> axe handle right into a moonsault off the top of a skyscraper. I was going to do a burning hammer, but I got banned. 
in uh, New Japan, so I can't do it anymore because it hurts people. Wow. This has nothing to do with Monster Apocalypse, what's happening right now. Uh, it's a, dude, there's body slams and throws. I'm going to talk pro wrestling. Okay, so I've got one action die left Woo! to do something with. We are going to spawn. <gasps> I could do spawn? another set of Shinobi like Macho Man. You could. You could. You could do Hulkamaniacs. They're all red. Uh -huh. Their chest is yellow. They're bald on top. They have some skin up here. Wow. Flesh, There's no reason to be tones. mean. I, I, he's, he's bald. It's, it's reality. It's what the bandana's for. Um, for people wondering that are watching the stream, this is how all of our games actually go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, this is, this is how you play games. See, Fiji99 says, Monpok is kaiju-themed pro wrestling on a chessboard. Pro wrestling is literally part of the game. I agree. That's why I'm talking about pro wrestling. See, I could say suplex, but like, for example, when you, do, when you do a body slam, which is the name of the move in the game, if you body slam a monster in front of you, directly behind you, it's still a body slam, but in my head, that's a suplex. Yeah. Whereas if I go side yeah. to side, that's a sidewalk slam. Maybe a, like a tornado DDT. But only, if, but only if you understand anything about wrestling terms. Everyone knows about wrestling no. terms. No, no we don't. If you're in chat and you don't know a single wrestling term, you don't know a single wrestling move, please speak up now. Okay, so... Then go watch Macho Man versus uh, Steamboat at WrestleMania 3. So, uh, Explode the Hawk goes to there. No! Obviously. That was just, just going to happen. Okay. Um, I, I don't... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, Belcher, Belcher... Elite Belcher and Belcher, like that. Okay. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. He can't get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can't get there. But he can go back here. Okay. Secure that apartment. Securing apartment buildings. That's how you win Monster Apocalypse. Okay, so uh, the Elite Belcher's in the middle. Yes. So all the other Belchers are within two spaces of him. I agree. I have high impact from Rogzor. Yes. So, these four white dice, one for each belcher, gets me three blue dice per belcher. Okay. Which is all the blue dice that we have right so now. So, 12 have, blue and we four have white? 12, yeah. Uh, who, whom are you shooting? I am going to shoot. Maxim does not have cloak. No. Maxim has less hit points. Well, technically, if I shot Hammerclack, they'd, I mean, Kraken crack, Octus, they'd both have the same number of hit points. Correct. Let's shoot the squid. Oh, I assume you're... Because some of these guys are probably not in range. Of, like, that guy can't be in uh, range of Zormax, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah. So they, they're all going to shoot Kraken Octus. I'm defense nine, Oz. The other thing I could do is I could hope for crazy high rolls and split this into two attacks. Don't do that. But that would be six blues and two whites That's per roll. That's a terrible idea. Which, if, you know, if I spike the rolls, more damage. But, no, this is pretty much hopefully a guaranteed damage. Let's see if I roll a nine. That's a, that's a doubles, a bunch. Six doubles. Kraken so, yeah. takes a point. So take a point damage. <laughs> that's not, no, they, they, they're belchers. They, they're making horrible, horrible, like, half puking, half burping sounds when but they what? fire their weapons. Because they belch. Acidic bile mucus stuff. And then um, Explodo Hawk over here. They spray green mist. They do. Something like that. Is that a wrestling term, too? I'm not yeah. aware. <laughs> okay. So, Explodo Hawks get three blues and up to six whites, but I'm just going to roll one. I'm defense one. Good luck hitting I, me. I got, oh, I got you with a one, barely. And that kills both those guys and my Explodo Hawk. But you get two red dice. Which gets me two red dice back. Which is the problem, because I wanted to not, you not have any red dice. Well, I, I'm going to have some red dice this game. I do. I know the way you play Monster Apocalypse is to be as aggressive as possible and to take all the power dice away from your opponent. Yes. Which is how you win games. Yes. But, <laughs> yeah, like you're like, but I'm going to have some red dice. You're not always going to keep all my red dice. Then I have failed as a human being. My turn? It is your turn. All right. So I think what we're going to do is try and shoot this guy. Because killing him get, stops this. and the, So that's two less yeah. power die. And yeah. you don't have any other power generation. Which means I need to put some strike fighters into him. Now their range is three, but their yep. speed eight. Their speed eight. So let's see who all can get there. 
If I put you here, you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I use a diagonal? I think you used a diagonal. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's not in range. Unless I hold this. If you hold that, then you have range four because he's pointing at the communications array. And if I go giant here, satellite dish. that'd be do this one. And yes, rune-wise, I needed those four, super strikes earlier when I was trying to go for that, that crazy body slam, not when I was just trying to go for a nine with a million dice. Dang it. Uh, oh wait, this guy, if I put him here with range four, he can get you, and I get another one there with range four, they could both get you. Yes. Okay. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to secure the comma ray and yes. his, you ignore cover with strike fighters. Yes. So his death is only gonna be two. So I'm gonna spawn Brittany. Brittany. Oh, Brittany. She's and I'm gonna spawn worst. a normal strike fighter. Is she gonna do it again? Is she gonna apologize when she does it again? But Maybe she's gonna say oops. I do or is it she again. somehow toxic? I played with meow meow and something something. What's happening on the oh, chat now? I want some number of dice to attack with. Uh, then I need to take this. No, no, Brandon, we're not. <laughs> Just answer your question. I won't tell anybody else what it is. I'm gonna spawn an interceptor here. I'm gonna spawn a pair of rocket choppers. Just because they're cheap and they can go hold things. Fishy99 thinks that every monster should have their own uh, walk-on music. Oh, I have another jet over here. A that jet? That totally get in range. Uh, yeah, I didn't kill that jet. I killed as many jets as I could. Easily. I could totally get in range, Oz. Uh-huh. Uh, and that means I could spawn, and I gotta remind myself, if I transport with the interceptor, can it move afterwards? Uh, you can do an action during your yeah. movement or during your attack. So you can do the action before you advance. You just can't interrupt your advance to do an action. But like the Brontox can't, right? Like the oh. Bron like there's a special rule on the Brontox. Well, the Interceptor has transport, which only triggers on cargo, and only your Shadow Gate has cargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The okay. Brontox has nesting, which says any uh, pterosaur thing can pop out of it, but they can't move. But transport doesn't have that, but your... Your speed on your shadow gate's only three, and you can't pop out anything but a shadow gate because only the shadow gate has cargo. And my last question I have to ask myself at the moment while looking at my shadow gates is, yeah, okay. So we'll mm -hmm. give one to you. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop out a shadow gate. Yeah. Here. Uh huh. Uh, and now it's gonna be movement time. So these guys are gonna go here, and the interceptor is going to actually the shadow gate is uh, speed. Speed three. So up to four. So with, with, yeah, as long as you hold that building. So it'll come here, so we're holding that now. Uh huh. So we counted this out earlier. This guy goes here, and then this guy goes right next to Kraken Octus. Yep. That both puts us in range four. I'm gonna pick Kraken In the Octus. tentacle zone. In the tentacle zone. Brittany's uh, gonna have to dodge a couple of those tentacles. Brittany, leave her alone. <laughs> leave her alone. Oh, wanna, oh yes, we I got there. I know what you were gonna say. You don't want to, actually. Um, this one's speed, also speed eight, going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll be in range two of Brittany. Uh-huh. I don't know if that's enough dice. You might need more. All right, actually. Uh, Runewise says, uh, that at the moment comment was because in the old game there were some other cargo models in Shadow Sun that might appear, and you're right, they might appear. It's it's change of plan. Theoretically possible that anything from first edition Monster Apocalypse might make a reappearance in second edition Monster Apocalypse, but there's no particular time frame for when that might happen. Like Kraken Octus and Hammerclack are a Triton and a Subterran Uprising monster. But the rest of their faction is not getting released right away. Because we uh, are doing one, Empire two, of the Apes three. in June and Ubercore in August as close as more robust faction releases. So change of plans. Uh, Brittany will not, or uh, Samantha will not be shooting. Samantha? Because I want her to body block as our maximum. How do you have that marked as Samantha? I want to know. I just do How are you going to track which one is Samantha? I just do it all on. And if you want to talk more about Monster Apocalypse and the future of Monster Apocalypse and Riot Quest and War Machine and lore for the Iron Kingdoms, come to Lock and Load and come to one of our Hangouts. And that's the point of Hangouts. You sit in a room with us 
and we talk about the future, sometimes we show off models or images or whatever that no one's seen publicly yet and that kind of stuff. The keynote is the big re reveal, and that's live streamed, but we also do smaller stuff in the Hangouts that you have to be at the show to see. So here's what happened. These two, I, these two jets moved up as we discussed. Uh huh. The G-Tanks stood back here holding the industrial complex in the apartment Of course they did. That's what G-Tanks do. This interceptor and the Shadowgate basically moved out here. This yeah. Shadowgate moved over to protect the two rocket chopters that now have the comm array. Mm -hmm. This interceptor that was next to the Shadowgate moved up to sort of body block. Oh, yeah. yeah. Resort Maximum. And then this strike fighter, Samantha, originally was going to join the fight, but then I realized I was leaving a gigantic opening for you to just easily walk but I, up. But but I but I I just have all these monster dice and nothing to do with them. Correct. So, so I'm gonna make you work for it. Leave an opening for me. Come on, man, be cool. So these two are going to combine ranged on the Belcher. On on that is the non-elite Belcher you, that's you, on that PowerPoint. You don't get cover because I'm strike don't fighters. Get cover. And, and my defense is two. I'm in range four because I'm. You're gonna this. roll real bad. You're gonna miss. No. That is not real bad. Come on, Hungerford. So you killed that one Belcher. Good job. But that shuts off all of your power. That shuts off my power production again. And I will get two red die. And I will pass the turn back to you, Oz. Okay. And your all your dice are in your monster side. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. Michael Ireland says, hey, just tuned in. Hey, Mike. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, I couldn't make packs unplugged. Missed you. Rikers Iron wants to see Ubercore take Laser Knight's parts and build a Franken new one. Dark. Hey, don't steal my ideas. Laser Knight 2.0 is just dead. No, Laser Knight original flavor is just dead. <laughs> anyway. Um, I, I feel like I have to be risky and take a hit on Rogzor to, to, to shut you down a bit. Unfortunately, you might double, double like, murder me with your monsters again. Yes. And that'd be bad. But my strict, Rogzor, my strict intent is to double murder. Rogzor can get back there, shoot that apartment at def four, and blow up all those tanks when that apartment dies. You will miss. I need a four. You will miss. I need a four. Anyway, um, I have two power dice, too. It's impossible to roll a four. Jared Fisher says, super excited about Riot Quest. Still regularly excited about Mon <laughs> <laughs> you, you can be super excited about a game that exists and super excited about a game that's coming in the future. You don't, you, you don't have limited excitement. Excitement is, is boundless. Never-ending excitement. Okay, so I could also try and power attack you again after that. We could see if Kraken Octus could body slam or throw. I would get, does that kill things or does that return them? Except for one damage. I would get a lot of power dice out of that and I could possibly throw Kraken Octus into that double building where I wanted to throw him earlier. So it's probably worth it. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Don't have to quite go that far if I don't want to. And then he's going to dig his way back up to there. Okay. Okay. So for, uh, for one white die and four blues, I can shoot that building. I need to get a four to hit. Yeah, don't mess this up. If I kill that building, I get five dice back, which is as many dice as I need to which, hit over here. Which is many as five ones. But I've got two red dice left, so I can keep those two red dice because I'll have enough to throw you over there and throw the red dice over here. Or I could hang on to them and add them to that thing to make sure that I get a big hit on you, which is what I want to do. So we're going to add more whites to this Rogzor shot. So one, two, three, four, and a half. So this is what happens in Monster Apocalypse when you're lacking power dice you end up burning a lot more action dice in your monster turns, which means you have fewer monster turns in a row, and more monster turns in a row is one of the like three pillars of winning Monster Apocalypse. Agreed. You got a four. I got a four. So that dies and I get five power dice. And all, all your tanks also pop. My tanks! Because the way it's written is uh, every unit adjacent to the building with a death 
equal to the roll or, or beat by the roll takes one damage. Which their defense would have been. And their defense is also four. Uh, oh, plus it would've, cover. It yeah, it would have been, been five, rolled, but you rolled. I rolled a six or you seven. You rolled a million. Yeah. Okay. So we did that. We got a couple of dice left. We could step, but stepping isn't going to save him from anything at all. Stepping will not save you. Stepping will not save you. I'm going to roll all these power dice to make sure this other thing hits. Uh, I'm defense nine. Hammerclack gets real angry in hyper mode, so he rolls six blue dice. <sighs> his power attacks. He has power gorge, which gives him extra red dice when he kills units, but that's not going to matter right now. Yep. Also, if I roll a super strike on a white, which is the double, this does super damage. So let's roll all of the whites because I also have. Dude, energy, I am so in. I also have energy cycle. If I roll more than two white or two or more whites and I hit, one white can come back. He has Crunch, the super damage ability in Alpha, but he gets Energy Cycle to make Crunch better in Hyper. Okay, so I have to roll a 9 on these, and I want one of the whites to be a super strike. It is. Okay. And that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Got just it. Just on doubles. So you take 2 damage for the hit. Yep. Then you take three from the buildings. Building, building. So that's four. Fire, fire. Uh, the power plants don't fire. Oh yeah, the power plant is not a fire. So I take five. So you take five. I go you to go five. From, from ten, ten to five. To five. Ooh, I'm in hyper form. You are in hyper form. And where did you want to put me exactly? I want to put you uh, as far as possible, all one, the way on the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So, importantly, like we were talking about waterlogged earlier, Trachinoctis is not immune to colliding with hazards. No. But, when he but as through. soon as he walks, that hazard will go out. Um, and I do get one of those whites back because I hit and I have energy cycle. Did you know that my SWAT and throw power attacks now do super damage? Oh, I know. I'm aware. I made that model. I, just, I just wasn't sure if you knew that. I'm, yeah, I, I, I remember. Okay. You also throw farther. Or you SWAT and, you swat and fling farther. Because you have wind up. I could shoot stuff up to seven spaces away. Oh, That's and I also, I also got four power dice back for killing those two buildings. And you have one white die left in your monster and I pool? I have a white die in my monster pool, which I could use to do something with, but there's not anything to do. Like, if you want to do something to him power attack-wise, you have to land in the fire, which would do a damage to you. Sure. So I'm kind of okay with that. He's, he's rough, but you might be able to get a double throw like you did last time. But he's got 10 hit points, so I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. going to keep that just in case for emergencies, because you never know. All right. So Kay. my monster turn. Your monster turn. I power up for one, And no, Anthony two. Baxter, dubstep wouldn't save you. Unless Tony has dubstep queued up somewhere back there. Power up for three. Uh, there's not even going to be dubstep involved. Crack and Octus is going to go one, two, three, four. Four, five, to there. Somebody's asking something about the Harbinger Shard. I don't know what it is. Jeff, Jeff is answering a question in the chat about the Harbinger Shard. And Zor Maxim's going to step in the volcano and take a point of damage. Oh, no. I don't have, I don't have this secured. The, co the Comet Shard, once a turn when you kill a unit, or kill a model, you get... A power die for it? Someone's asking about my power die numbers. I got four back from killing these two buildings. I got five earlier from shooting that building that was two and then killing the three tanks that were one apiece. I wish I had this secured. It would make my planet eaters cheaper and it would also mean Step. that I could get an oh. extra power die often. Uh, this what, you gonna, what, what you gonna fling or fling or swat? This flipped over when I walked over. Uh huh. Uh, step one is going to be crack and Noctis is going to swat this guy. Sure, that's all. You're gonna swat him into my monster? Yeah, I'm gonna swat him into your monster. Okay. Uh, sure. Actually, no. <laughs> Zor Maxim is going to throw you. That's step one. So you took a damage on Zor Maxim when you walked into the, the yeah. volcano. Yeah. This should hit. That this should uh, hit. I am def nine now in hyper mode. You're down def eight because I'm sure you have penetrator, but so, I mean base base stats. I'm gonna throw you. Yep. Did you? I got you. There's yeah. There's a bunch of doubles. Good uh, job. I'm gonna throw you into this building. That building, like so. Like how? 
which gets three damage on you and gets yep. me two reds back. Dude, dude, dude. I have a hit point left. I have one hit point left. I will fix that. Jared, Jared Fisher, no, no dad jokes. Keep your dad jokes out of here. Uh, Hammerclack is going to. You have one hit point left. I have a hit point left. I'm just gonna brawl you. You're just gonna. You. You'd have to step. No, I'm gonna brawl fling him. Oh, brawl fling. Okay, yeah. You just said brawl me. I didn't know what you were talking about. I'm gonna punch that crawler. You're gonna. Pu that's a belcher. I'm gonna punch that belcher. Def, def two. Yep. And I'm going to fling him into the back of Hammerclack's head for the win. For the win? I still have a monster on the table. Hey, it doesn't matter. You gonna miss? That'd be funny. No. You did not miss. Boom! Okay. Three red die Wait, back. Is it. It's. You just need to do one damage. Yeah, I just need to do one damage. Because your flings don't do super damage. Yeah, I could have swatted, but I decided to do the fling instead because yeah. I only needed to do one. Yeah. Uh, it was so, uh, Hammerclack is dead. Sad. And I sad get three hammer. red die. This is uh, where you need a sad monster roar, Tony. All right, so I got three red back, one for, uh, no, two red back. Yeah, one for the unit, one for the monster, because every time you kill anything, you get a power die for it. And I'm done. Okay, uh, should I take a one die monster turn? With no red, with four red dice? Four red dice. I'm into it. If that's, uh, what, if that's your plan. I don't know if that would, if that would do anything. But I can. Hammer clack, you got hammer smacked. By the top dog, Kraken Octus, laying the smack down. I don't know. Sure. Um, so you're I need not going to. You're some, like wrestling promos for Kraken Octus. You're on to unit turn, Hit right? The Nubly arms. Yes. Did you? What is that? Is that applause? I was applauding your pun. Yeah. Don't applause puns. Reynard Miri no. says smack and Octus. You got Kraken Octus. <laughs> crack. Ha hammer clack <laughs> got hammer smacked by smack and Octus. I'm done. Bye. Yep. Did you just take the mic yep. off and walk out? It's getting worse every time he opens his mouth. So that shadow gate's giving cloak to those choppers. Yes. So to deal with those choppers, I'd have to get either very, very close to them, or I have to just shoot the building. Because the building is part of the problem. But I have one explode a hawk in this army, so I can explode a hawk a thing. Which is going to be those two jets, because that's the easiest target. Jared Fisher says, get to the choppers. I want to get to the choppers. Do it right. But I can't. I don't think I can do a good Arnold voice. I can't make it. You, you can't do a good Arnold voice. I can't. Not without like, being like insulting to Arnold, which I don't want to do. Oh, he like, might just, be listening. He he's might. not. But you should have sit and insult somebody publicly. Might come up here from California. The only people that I would ever insult publicly on our stream is like ourselves. Like we'll make fun of ourselves. Okay. And but I would not make fun of someone else. Yeah. Okay. So, what do I want to do? How many? Reynard Miri says no one can do a good, a good Arnold voice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that no one can do a good Arnold voice, except for Arnold. You can do a good Arnold voice. Right, Tony. I'm going to use Tony's painted, right, Tony? painted models because he painted these. So I want you to do extreme close-up on this camera. Come on, man. Okay, so I'm spawning uh, an elite chopper and two regular choppers. Okay. Ooh. Is it, is it, car is it Carnadon party? It's is not it a Carnadon party. Is it chopper party? It's a chopper party. It's not an, a super effective chopper party because I only have three dice left to do it with. But I am going to try and put another damage on... Kraken Octus with my chompers right now. I have bad news. Is that? I am indestructible. Oh, you are? Yes. All those squid meats? Squid meats are super hard to punch through. You ever try and punch a squid to death? No. I'm going to go with, <laughs> I'm like gonna go you're with like, no. You're like, I'm going to go with no. That's no? the safest answer to that is no. I've Just never ugh, tried. take it. Damn you, Calamari! Right, right in the beak. You killed my sister! Okay, so... JK, she's fine. One... One die for each of the... of the chompers. Yeah. Because this guy's an elite, and the other two are within two spaces. Gets me nine blues. Well, good luck. I'm deaf nine, stupid. Stupid... stupid chompers. Well, nine blue dice and three white dice is not mathematically sound against a nine, but... Stupid chompers. If I could get one more chomp, oh, I gotta do this first. Sorry, boop. That guy. Sure. 
That is not a nine. Whew. That's a lot of blanks. Told you, stupid chompers. Wow. They can't bite. They hey, can't, can't they, punch these squid those meats. chompers tried their best. They are good boys. Okay, so then Explodohawk on Jets. I got to roll a one. Last time I rolled a one. This time I rolled more than a one. My Jets. Your two Jets. Including dead. Brittany. Brittany's dead. She'll be back. I'm picking on Brittany again. I should leave her alone. And my Explode Hawk died, of course, because that's what Explode Hawks do. They explode. Oh, Hawk. Jesus. Wow, Doug C. Cat. All right, Oz. Oh, Doug's saying that reality is mimicking the game because the build, this building started shaking as soon as this PPHQ got destroyed. That did but not But he happen. thinks it was just somebody stomping around in the hallway. Uh, are you done? I, I'm out of dice. I gotta be done. I'm gonna spawn That's how the game works. three regular G tanks. Three normal G tanks. Where do you have this giving you any power die? Nowhere? Uh, at the moment. Nowhere. Okay, good. Nowhere. Sweet. I have plans then. Oh, I'm gonna. Um, this, is where, this is where I cheated, guys. You knew it was gonna happen. I forgot. Those guys were on the table. They could move. That's what, that's what happened. I've never been more disappointed in you in my life. Hey. Hey, man. Uh, you're winning a bit. It's okay if I cheat a little bit. Uh, Belcher's defense is Belcher's defense is two. two. They're only two. I'm gonna spawn Brittany. Brittany, wow, Brittany's Brittany's been like in this game the whole time. People don't play with elites constantly all the time in Monster Apocalypse. Wrong. Then they are but doing. Brittany her. is Brittany is really in there. Uh, I'm gonna spawn Samantha again. Samantha. I don't know if that's Samantha. I thought this was Samantha. Don't correct me. It sickens me. And then I'm gonna put another die there. Question mark. Yeah, I don't want you to get dice. Striker, I, I don't know. I can't see what was going on. I don't know if you didn't like the punch the squid comment or you did like the punch the squid comment. Okay. One, two, three, four. This G tank walks here, Oz. This G tank walks here. This G tank walks here. So I have the industrial complex again. G tanks don't walk. They roll. They do what they want. And also, um, they want to know if you search. How you have you ever tried to punch a squid to death on Google? Six. And what kind of search history autocorrects that gets you? Because I want to know that too. Comes there. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goes there. And I've got range four currently. You do have range four because you still hold that building back there. This one is going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Where? How far? I think I'm gonna come right here. I'm, okay. I'm moving eight. Yeah, I know. So I go there. Uh, these are gonna stay there. This mm -hmm. interceptor is gonna come here. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to shoot at things. Uh, what is that? Oh, no, no. Shoot at? This one's coming here so that I'm in range of my elite. Uh, this one's gonna shoot there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, so, Brittany is going to shoot... My Elite Belcher? Yeah, we'll shoot the Elite Belcher, looking for a two. This is the Elite Belcher. Oh, sorry, That's Brittany's going to shoot the one next to the building. Okay. Got him. Yep, you got a four. That's pretty good. Bam, give me a red die. And then these two are going to combine on that one. And I rock in four dice here. I don't know if the combine is necessary. Uh, but they also don't have any other targets. It's not necessary, but it's cool. Oh, barely. That was, uh, barely. That was almost not cool. Okay, that elite belcher's dead. Okay, and that ends, so that stops you from getting any more red die, right? Uh, yeah, I don't power up anymore. Okay. Yep. Okay. And I'm done. But I have. I know you've already six. got six, but like. I have six red dice. My plan, I mean, you can always get them from destroying buildings and destroying units, right? I have yeah. to use units, but as yeah. you, as. Anyone who watches me play on stream, I am very much aggro, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, that is how I like to play Monster Apocalypse. And one of my strategies I like to use every time I play is to not give my opponent, not let my opponent generate any red die at the yeah. start of their monster turn. Yeah. So that I'm making you spin red die to get red die and, extra and, white dice. and choking out your economy. Yeah. I am. Uh, He's a big fan of choking. Whoa. He said it. That means something completely it. different. He said it, not me. All I know is I looked up at chat and the first thing I saw was Jared Fisher's comment that says, I will cherish this hat. And I don't know what he's talking about. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? Also, also. Track, tracks him, that's nice. Oh. No. I still don't get Tony, it. Tony, it, it's. Also, Rockers Iron. I just used a word, a regular English word that's a normal word that he had just said before. There's a lot of English words that mean some pretty dark stuff, Oz. <sighs> what am I going to do back here? So I could do the same thing I did last time. Like a lot of them. I could shoot your building. I could get five dice out of it. I could shut down your speed. Disintegrate is not a good word. But that wouldn't, that wouldn't help me kill anybody. I'm far too, way too far away from Krakenoctis to to put damage on him. I'm not great at power attacks in general, and Zor Maxim's a nine. That and is I'd have to step in the volcano to even, to even touch you with a power attack, which will get me closer to Kraken Octus. Kraken Octus, wrecking the day. Hit you in the silly face with a silly. submarine. Silly face. Yeah. So my only real problem, I think, is that this guy is sitting where I need to be to be yep. five spaces away from that building to blow it up. Not, on, not intentional, but I'll take it. I was right. going to use another word other than the silly, but we, this is a PG-13 show. But So fill in the word silly with something more. Apropos. I can get to there. I'm going to probably do that. So I'm just going to walk to here. Hello. How's it going? I'm going to shoot behind me. <laughs> <laughs> like all, like some sort of. Some John Woo movie? Some sort of John Woo movie. I'm going to do it. Where He's going to run, run down that street and then do like some spinning crazy move. He's going to shoot that industrial complex. My industrial <laughs> complex? I need that. You do need it. That's why I'm killing it. Uh, its death is five. I'm going to get five power dice for doing this. And I only have four in my dice well, so at least one is just a given. Mahu says if this is a PG-13 stream, we need at least one F-bomb. Unfortunately, our, <laughs> our, our primary provider... That's happened before. Yeah. That's happened our, before. Our primary provider of F-bombs has left... I do, I, knew, I do miss him, and I do miss the occasional bombs. The reactions were always just... Like, well, Doug, oh no! Doug has come real close. Doug has said other things. Seacat? He's never dropped an F-bomb, but he's said some other things. I've never heard well, Seacat cuss once. Have you ever played Company of Iron with him? Oh, yeah. I've heard him cuss a lot. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> if I roll these two, that's two, three, four, something. I want to keep as many white dice as possible. Yeah, because you want to take back-to-back -back monster turns, right? I want to take as many monster turns as I can. I'm going to run out of red dice doing that, but I don't want to ever, for the rest of the game, I want to try and keep activating my monster okay. as much as possible. So, you're going to shoot so this building. So, I need a five to kill that building. One, two, three, four, Ooh, five. Just on it. Uh, and that actually gets the tanks because you needed a that five. Actually, that gets the tanks. So you get, uh, so I get five, five back. red dice. Spent three, got five. And my dang industrial complex. And now nice. you're not faster than me anymore. Well, faster in general anymore. And um, I am done. I spent one white die. Okay. So I will power up and I get one for this power node, two, three. So that's three right there. Building. And then one for the comm array. So I'm getting four currently. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, let's go beat up your monster with our hands. Uh, he doesn't have hands. Zor Maxim, let's count this out real fast. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can just walk here. Uh, also, Travis, there are clocks in, in tournament monster apocalypse. We're playing a friendly casual game. That's why Hungerford's playing as hard as he possibly can. Because he doesn't have a casual mode. Uh, Zormaxim like a switch in his head. Zormaxim's gonna backflip, backflip to here. Did you count the movement out? Can he actually do I, that? I did. You were busy insulting me. Right, uh, are you and sure then he didn't shoot some sort of like grappling cable, all like dark in the into what a style. cloud? Yeah, it dude's huge. Into the moon. He grapples the moon and swings around with it. You, you're what? I've seen, I've seen Bat Maxim movies. I don't know how he moves around. Uh, Crack Noxus is going to stand right there. He's going to slap some, slap some guys around. Zor Maxim is going to spend this. Uh huh. That's a lot of red dice. You're a lot of red dice. What are you going to? What are you uh, going to do? You going to throw me into that radar ditch over there? No, That'd no. That'd be awesome. I'm going. That to... would get my work done for me. So you're down by one. You're down to what? A seven. I am a seven. I'm a, a 
Start an eight. This will work. Uh, yeah, this will work. You're gonna body slam. I'm gonna body slam you. Into, I'm gonna body slam you into Mount Terra. Into a Mount Terra. One, Ooh. two, three, four, five, six. I miss you. Ooh. No. Nope. Those two blank like reds. That hurt. But that's, that's okay. First, that's the first attack you've missed the whole game, though. It is, and it happens. And if you had secured this guard building, you could re-roll it with that. I'm never getting that guard building. You put it way too far out. I'm going to stomp. What's their defense? Uh, their defense is three. Okay, so I'm going to stomp. So you need one red die. I, I'm what, just telling the, the people watching. Which is why stomp, I kept the one red. A, re, a stomp requires a red, and so, you got enough. So I'll get three back. You get three reds back. Shucks. I needed that to hit. Zor Maxim, you have failed me, uh, and I will end there with three power die, eight white die in my monster pool, and two in my unit pool. Hmm. Are you too good to throw aliens? <laughs> hey, 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 Bat Maxim doesn't kill people. Everyone knows that. You're not people. I'm a, I'm a big... I'm if they, oh, I think it's people. I'm a big happy, I'm a big happy space boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win? One Bat Maxim or one happy space boy? Big happy space boy. Okay, so I'm taking a monster turn. I'm not powering up because I have a unit on the table. Just one, if you're counting at home. Uh, Umrek says, flip the hazards. Uh, not yet. Uh, oh, yeah, flip the hazards. because I. Yeah, stomping does put out fires. Oh, goop, boop. I don't need no fires. Let that not burn. <laughs> Thank you, um, Umrek02, for catching yeah. our mistake. Yeah, thanks. Cheers. Wow, there's a lot of... A lot of stuff going on over there. Okay, so I I can throw you into a volcano. How dare you? It will take a lot of effort because Rogzor is about shooting things, not about not about body slamming things. Now you're you've got two unit dice because you you barely took a turn with your. Monster. This was the you slam, took... and this was the stomp. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to take another monster turn. Maybe. I might take a unit turn with two white dice. Uh, sure. So if I move away from you to go take out that building, yes. you're going to come after me and, and not fail to body slam me. So I should put some damage on you. It would be great if I could throw you, but I don't really have the dice to throw you really far away from me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that would cost all of the red dice I could possibly have. So I can just throw you one space into a volcano, a mini volcano. Full of eggs. Cadbury eggs. Unlike, unlike a big, oh yeah, they're totally full of some sort of weird, weird substance. Umrek says he's just trying to stop you from cheating, which I appreciate. That wasn't cheating at all. That was me focusing on my part of it, which was removing my units, and letting Hungerford focus on the rest of it, which was his stuff. You're going to try and... Uh... Uh, I'm going to try and body, uh, throw you. So Throw me? Uh-huh. Okay. I only get three blues. I am defense nine. Attacks, and your defense nine. So this is the minimum I have to roll. I have to throw you one space. Yeah. So I don't have to roll a bunch of red Dude, dice. Dude, if you roll a nine on this, which is technically possible, possible. that would be the most baller move in Mompok ever. You're like, I'll throw one red die in I it. Just, just sell box cards. I'll make this 0.13 percenter. Okay, so that is a five, probably. I'm gonna get what, two, built, two red dice back for this. Yes. So this should, this should be five, seven, and a half? Yeah. Which I still need two more. If I roll all these red dice... For, for anybody who's ever trying to do the mompak math in your head really fast, the easiest way is three blues should be two hits. Each white is a 50-50, so every two whites should be one A little bit hit. better than a 50-50. And then reds should be one hit. Yeah. Reds should average to one. Whites should average to just over a half. And blues are even better than whites. Yep. So that is it. Blue if I roll all the reds... I probably do three damage to you, which doesn't put you in hyper. No, but it does make me angry. Not well, me personally. Totally, yeah. You're going to do it? I'm going to do it. You all in? Yeah. I do I I'm, well. so, I'm so ready. If I this. miss like you missed because I don't roll enough reds, then I'm just falling farther behind. So I wish I was doing this to crack an Octus. I know, but he's over in your side. He's of the way over there. He's having a party. So there's a double and. Did you get a nine? So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just exactly. Barely. Where do you want to put me at? Uh, the other side of this building. Okay. Boom. And I take three. Three damage. And I get. You killed Cadbury Mountain. Uh huh. 
Would you like to do anything else on your turn offs? Could you use more official branded terms in our live streams, please? I don't think you quite give away enough free advertising the whole time. Uh, I could step, but I can't step over units, so I can't go that way. Yeah. Uh, I'm set up for a throw in the fire, some body slams in the fire, or a throw into a building. Can't easily step out of that building lineup though, so I'm just gonna be done and have spent so far two white dice, two monster turns in a row. But I'm all out of reds now, and I'm not gonna get a lot of reds. What are you looking at? Are you looking at the fact that you get a gun when you go hyper? No, I've got this like crazy play that stops me from taking a point of damage. So I'm gonna take a monster turn. I get one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have this really weird play. <laughs> no, so, ma, 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 whatever your name Check is. this out. Mahuit. Mahuit. Zormaxim goes here. Maxim. That I will Maxim? spend an action to teleport the Shadow Gate from here to here. Does that work? So teleport says. Does it say other model? You can spend one action to perform, either choose one adjacent allied unit uh -huh. and place it adjacent to another allied model with teleport, which is me. Or choose one allied unit adjacent to another allied unit with teleport and place it adjacent to this model. Well, it says choose an allied unit and place it next to another thing with teleport, which is not you. So you don't think that works? The first, the first part is pick something adjacent to you and put it next to something else that has teleport, because it says another model with teleport. So that's saying that not the thing it's adjacent to. Okay. So that doesn't work. So you can't teleport, you can't teleport from him to him. Okay. You have to teleport from him to another teleporter or from another teleporter to him. I will believe you. I will believe you. It says another. If it said to a monster, to a uh, uh, to a model with teleport, then it would work on you because you're you're you are a model, but you're not another model. Are you are you adjacent to yourself? Adjacent. I don't think you're adjacent to yourself. Okay, got it. Okay, well then we're gonna go step Does and that fire. Be weird. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I will take a point of damage and go into hyper form. Uh oh, now your def is ten. Kraken Octus is going to go one, two, three, four, five. He's going to put out that fire. And then I'm going to step once. Okay. And you're going you're gonna to slap my last little. Hell yeah, worm I'm going to slap bro. that dude. Why would you do that? That's just so rude. He's, he's all by himself over there. He's sad and lonely. He's probably crying weird alien tears. They don't look like normal tears, but they're tears. So Kraken Octus is going to slap that dude. Uh, defense on the apartment is six or five? Five, five on the apartment. So I'm, Two on the Destructomite. I'm going to punch a Destructomite. Um, uh -huh. Need to hit a five or six, you said, on the apartment building? Five on the apartment building. Five on the apartment building. Let's see. If I do this, that should be one, two, three. It's just safer to do it this way. It'd be sad if you missed again. I hit the Destructomite. So you hit the Destructomite. He's dead. You get a power die. And then flinging him into your apartment building. It's not I got, my apartment building. I got Nobody it. owns that apartment building. Boom. I get three power. Kaboom. I just heard an apartment building fall down. Must be someone stopping upstairs. So point of that was just to remove more stuff on... Oh, of course it was. ...your side of the board. Now, Zor Maxim is going to body slam Rogzor. He's going to try. He's probably going to fail again like last time. Wow. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> well, I'm powered up now, and I still have Penetrator. Yeah, you still need to hit a seven, which you couldn't do last time. I liked it. So let's look at this. Uh, I think what we're going to roll is... How many red dice is that? Uh, we're just going to roll all of them. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to roll all these. Okay. It's really important. That'll do it. That's, that's a couple doubles. So I will body slam you mm -hmm. here. You take three. I yeah. get two red back. I destroy my own Shadow Sun Industries. Uh -huh. And I will end my turn with five in my monster pool and five in my unit pool. And you spent all your red dice and got two back for knocking out a building. Yeah. Okay, I have two power dice, which is enough to do something. 
But your def is 10 now. My def is 10. So. Oh, and I'm sorry. Uh, I energy cycled, so I get one white die you back. You do get a white die back if you want. Yep. I energy cycle because I rolled two or more white die in that attack. And, and you hit. So if I rolled a bunch of dice, I might be able to hit a 10 and body slam you back, which would uh, just do two damage to you because it's a fire body slam. You're going to take another turn. I am probably going to take another turn. With your monster. Tony, what's chat talking about? Because I was, I was in the moment. I didn't get a chance to see like, what, what, what's been going on in, in the chit chats. They're arguing over handle pronunciation. Over handle pronunciation? Okay. Handle? Oh, we're talking about oh Mahu etc. Oh yeah, I have no I I have no idea how what the intent of that name is. Jared Fisher says they also talk about Riot Quest excitement. Okay, this is for Travis because of his comment earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six. What are you doing? Blowing up that building. But what? It is a five. I could roll a five on these dice. Dude. I, I won't roll a five on those dice. Good luck. But I could. Because I need another power-up turn because you've taken all my power-up away from me. That is true. So I have to do this, Travis. It's your fault. It's, your, it's actually his fault. Um, I'm going to spend, what, one, two, it's crap. Total crap. Let's, let's just hope. Dice gods and all that. But I get a five on these dice. Oh. So that is Boom. five more dice. I lose all this. Uh huh. Hey, if you're gonna play, take away all my powering up. I'm gonna I'm... take away as much of your powering up as I possibly can. I do. know it hurts my feelings. <laughs> uh, are they combustible? Uh, no, that's not. Combustible. They're in, so it becomes it's combustible. Which is the other reason I going there is safer because now this is entirely extinguished and you can't you can't get me into a fire as easy. If I step one back, I won't even be lined up with that fire, but I'll be way in the back corner, so I'm not going to do that. So I have seven reds and four whites for another monster turn. All I'm right. dragging out these monster turns as long as I possibly can, because I think as soon as I don't take back-to-back -back monster turns, I probably lose. And yes, Privateer Press, Privateer Press says that Riot Quest equals 100% grade A mayhem. Now, there's a, there's a, there's a pretty high quality of mayhem in Monster Apocalypse. But it's not quite grade A. Riot Quest is certified, like they get the inspectors in there, they measure everything perfectly. So maybe we actually maybe it's just we didn't pay for the certification of Monster Apocalypse. Maybe the mayhem we have is, all the credits. It's equal mayhem. I have a question. But it's not certified. I have a question. Grade A, just percent I have a question. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, you're taking your turn. I'm I'm talking to the chat. I was trying That's to what happens. Do I take a monster turn? Um, yes. You take a monster turn. Clockwork Mobius asks, so it's a small skirmish game? Isn't that what Company of Iron is for? Yeah. Riot Quest is totally literally nothing like Company of Iron. Yeah, it is totally different. Riot Quest is an arena. What do we, are, do we have a, a, like a categorical name for it? Arena's in there, isn't it? It's an arena skirmish hybrid miniatures board game full of chaos and mayhem. Sure. So, so imagine, imagine a little bit more of a board game and you can play what does the shard give you? two, three, or four players. The shard gives you the first time you kill a model every turn, you get an extra power die. And it's a planet eater building, so it discounts planet eaters. Okay. I'm gonna take so if I secure it, if I would have secured it earlier, if I secure it ever, it would give me extra power dice production. It would have gotten me one extra for that. I'm gonna take a monster turn. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna kill this, or you're just gonna fly over and secure it, because that would be funny. A unit turn, well, you've got what? You've only got four little dice left. I've got monster. four monster dice left, but I've got seven power dice. I can take a substantial monster turn. Hopefully, maybe. Who knows? Who uh, knows? I'm going to take a monster turn. So I power up for three. Uh, Kraken Octus is going to go one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to stand here. Uh huh. And I'm going to straight up punch a building. Just slap a building with I'm a big just, noodle arm? I'm just going to slap a building. Okay. Uh, who was asking? Did it already go past in the chat? Wait. Oh, Ed the Mad was asking, why haven't we played Riot Quest on the stream yet? 
partially because every, all the components aren't quite ready yet, we're getting closer and closer to having all the components in a, a state we can show off, but also partially because we're kind of saving it for lock and load. We may play it on the live stream right around lock and load, maybe after, maybe before, something like that. But part of that is getting everything together. We got factory samples of the map and stuff recently, so we're getting more of the pieces to show you what the real game looks like, because we don't want to play on the stream with playtest components, a big white paper map with a printout and stickers and stuff on it. It doesn't quite look as good. If you go back to our old, old, old 2013 mm. Omega Protocol video, and, and it was so, so early it was still playtest components, and you can see a lot of like Sharpie on cardboard and stuff in there, and that's what it would look like. And while that's a cool behind the scenes thing, we want to show you guys the full on total excitement of the game. 100% great, it may have it all. Yeah, playtest components are way less sexy than. Yes, they are way less sexy. I blacked out, what's happening? You're fine, just take your turn. I'm gonna punch that. Slap a building. Slap a building. Build and slap. You slapped it. It has been slapping. Oh, and just, I heard it fall down. These, these, these special effects, they're so realistic. Uh, okay, all my dice are in my unit pool. It is your go, Oz. Oh, your dice are in your unit pool. That means if I could get to your monster, I could hit your monster one more time before I got hit back. But you're so far away. <laughs> <laughs> we did we did straight up go to Narnia. We were like, what? Oh, that man. weird shooty thing fought back. How about everyone get right the hell out? So I could take a unit turn. What do they make here? I've got six. Inflatable rafts. I've got I'll six. I'll punch them with my squid hands. Dice. Hmm. I can't. Ex I can explode a hawk. This stuff. I think I'm gonna take a urine turn. I think I'm gonna to drag out the monster turn one more time. So I spawn an explodo hawk right here. Hello. To kill those two guys. I have four more dice. I can easily kill those two jets with chompers or belchers, and chompers are, easily. Chompers are harder for you to kill. So I'm gonna grab some of Tony's. Super, super shiny, bright, chompy bros. Although, I can't get to you because you're sitting on that spawn point. I, I did put my squid foot directly on the spawn point. So that guy costs one to spawn and one to attack with, so I have two left. Yeah. I cannot bump a guy and attack still. So it's true. I will belcher instead because I can shoot you just as easily as I can chomp you. Except Two, three, four. I'm not fast enough to get there. And I want to be there. What's a chomper speed? Five? I don't know. Yeah. You you made these rules. I think I'm it's a five. I'm going to switch where those two guys are at. Okay. I like it. So, the belcher is going to belch up to there. What up, dog? One, two, three, four. Uh, no, he's not. The belcher's not going to go there. He's going to go there. The belcher's going to go on the PowerPoint. Okay. And the Explodo Hawk is gonna explode a hawk, like explode a hawks do. So Belcher's gonna shoot, uh, this is a regular Belcher, so he just gets one blue die. Who's he shooting? He's shooting uh, the G-Tank that's not being punched or exploded. That's not a G-Tank. Sorry, Strike Fighter, G-Fighter? G I'm air, air boat. straight up Def 1. Def 1, I need a 2, I mean, no, I need a 1. I got a 1, killed you. Got a power dive. Like the deaf one, I needed two. I needed two. Someone explain it to me. I know. I, I don't always say what I mean. I, don't, I always mean what I say. Is he um, going to bite a plane? He's going to bite a plane. So he gets two blues. I needed one. Uh, that that blue that rolled out rolled a zero. That was a two, so that was good. And then Explodo Hawks get three blues. And you're punching, I and assume. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna punch the plane. You need a one now, and a three here. I still have to get a three yep. on the interceptor. To explode it. What you said is true. Oh, they both gone. Four. So oh. I am maxed out on power dice, and all my action dice are back on my monster side. We are still in this game. Are you ready? You f you you activated my freaking trap card, though. It's Carnadon party time. Sure, of course, but like you can only get three on me, or unless you wait. Three? How many how many unit dice do you have? Six. Yeah. I, no, I've all. I'm oh, just, you have I'm all. Spawning. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're going to do a damage to me at least. Carnadons will bite anything they want. It's Carnadon dance party. Carnadon dance party. Wait, wait, I can't see the chat. Tony's sending us a special message. 
Oh, he's not sending us a special message. Jared Fisher asks if there's a standard size points oh, I'll for Company of Iron. Bonding first. The, the box is 20, but normally people play 25. 20 is just in there for smaller games if you want to try and get a game in at lunch or whatever. A few less models on the tables, a few less activations, so it's a little faster. Also, there's some fun little armies you can build that are exactly 19, 20 points thematically. But we did 25 because that's a little bit more flexible. Dra Drathnix says Carno Dancing. Carnodon dance party. Oh, that Explodo Hawk is gone, by the way. Oh, yeah, he exploded like a Explodo Hawk. I guess we're going to do this with like a straight up one of these guys. Oh, somebody wants your hair to go through CID. Never. Like, should it get, should it get nerfed all the way down to my hair level? Uh, Interceptor's we going could, to. We could cut Hunger for Terror live on stream. I have clippers. I cut my one, own two, hair. Three. Every time I cut it, we can cut hunger for his hair on the stream. I mean, I'm in. If we get enough, we got uh, Josh. Are you Josh? I called out to Josh earlier. He wasn't paying attention. Josh, tweet out a poll right now. What's the chopper's defense? Or or something that says if we get enough likes, we cut hunger for his hair live, live on the stream. What 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 what? what? Chompers, See, chompers are three. Belchers are two. I'm on a whole other level here. We're, I'm, I'm uh, you are clearly I'm on a whole other level. Game. We're working on something Two, else. Three, four, five, six, seven. So he'll be in range no matter. So I'm going to put him here. All right, so what happened? As I'll try and commentate. What are you, what are you doing? Where did well, that I would have told he people what I, here? Don't worry about it. You were literally just looking at the Sorry. screen going Sorry, like, waka, blocking, waka, I'm, waka. I'm, I'm so you missed it. Camera. Okay. I, I was letting you plan while I was entertaining people. Uh, this guy spawned a spa, shadow gate uh, with, and then moved over here. Sure, he took one diagonal to get between the... Yes, then this thing moved over. Uh huh. This thing spawned here, moved up, is standing on the neutral and is in range of him. Then I spawned okay. an elite Carnodon and two regular Carnodons, and they're going to bite Rogzor. They're going to try and bite Rogzor. They're going to bite Rogzor. Oh, uh, Travis says, even the eyebrows. 100% accidental eyebrow removal, at least one of them. Do y'all think I care about my body? We can do this. Jared But wants pay rats. me. But it's funner. It's, everyone's seen jackets. It's funner to buzz them. Ooh, that's pretty good. What are you, what are you touching my health for? That's my job. My Carnodons do a point of damage. What'd you roll, like a 10 or something? More, than, more than a 7. Yeah, because you had an elite in there? Yep. yep. And then this Strike Fighter is going to try and get lucky and shoot that, bro. I need a 3 on a white and a blue. Ooh, okay. E easy game. You got this. Nope, nope, not quite. Okay, so I take a monster turn. I can't, I can't get to your monsters unless, how far, how many steps would it be? So that's diagonal one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Uh, probably not the best of all plans. Hell yeah, do it. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can't step, so I have to step first, but I'm still going to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is less mm -hmm. to get to there. It's moving into the fire, which would put me in hyper, which would make my power attacks better. True. I True. could throw you here. Yep. You would take one, two, three damage, because that's incombustible. Yep. That would not kill you. Correct. That would knock you down to two. True. Krakenoctis is at five also, and he's not anywhere near dangerous things because he's been putting fires out. Putting out fires. Been walking around with his squishy bits, being like. Hey, if I can't be inappropriate, you can't be inappropriate. <laughs> it wasn't even on. It wasn't even on that camera. Oh, it was in the tiny in the, up, in the upper left. What's up, Trotsky DM? Welcome to the chat. Travis, I'm not answering you. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try for this, this ridiculousness, but I can't step beforehand either, so I can't get to you. I forgot. You're, you're, you've got me blocked in over there. It it's the Carnadon party. More, it would take even more steps to get out of that. You're taking a monster turn next. You have to come back Look how good the me. table looks, though. I'm going to stomp you. So there... You're gonna stomp me. I'm gonna stomp you. All right. Carnodons are death three. 
Yeah, you'll never hit defense three. I might not with these dice. One red. I'm going to go for it. I don't care. I'm saving my dice. Saving dice. Here's three. I got it. Oh, Ooh, I got a bunch. <laughs> so I get that power die back. The only Tony, hit us with some kind of sweet sound effect for the stomp and the three carnadons. I couldn't even hear it. Was it, a, was it a building smash or was it a monster roar? There you go. So I stomped on you. I'm, I'm done. One die. It's like a monster roar. I'll power up for three. No, Travis. I know, I could have spent more red dice. I wanted to, I wanted to like get that roll What's off. your life at six? Two dice as possible. Six. My monster has more health than both your monsters separately, but not combined. But my monster is mostly about taking out buildings at range, and we don't have any of those, hardly. So you're, you've got an advantage. You're also faster than I am with Maxim. Oz, will you confirm the final damage of the monsters on screen there? Uh, Rogzor. Hmm. Rogzor is at six. And uh, Kraken and Maxim are at five. Hmm. I think it's something to go fight you. Come fight me. Rogzor is just standing back there saying, come at me, bro. He's like wiggling his little fins at you. Because those fins, they come in and out, so he's almost doing this. But it looks more like this. One, two, he's trying four, this, but he's, five, he can't help six, himself. He's just seven. doing this. Stand next to a volcano. It'll be fine. Step. Step. And I'm really surprised that no one said Krakalakin Step. until now, Trotsky. Step. Or there have been Krakalakins in there the whole time I haven't seen. Okay. Um, we'll go... One, two, three... Well, you go, you're going the wrong way. Four, five. You gonna stomp on my little dudes? Yeah, no, I got plans. Plans within plans. Uh, so the first thing that happens is Zor Maxim is going to uh, throw you? Throw me in a fire? Yeah. That's a lot of dice you just picked up. Well, How many are you gonna roll? I gotta make sure it hits. Sure, sure. So you're down to defense seven? I'm defense seven, because you have penetrator on power attacks, yes. So I'm gonna throw you. You grab that. <laughs> it rolled a blank. It counts. You know what? I agree. It counts. I don't care. So it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna send you one, two, three, four, five, six. So you take two points of damage off. Two points of damage. Then I'm hyper. I'm at four, Tony. Riker's Iron is asking about the next Crush Hour, the new Crush Hour kit. That is going to have Cthulhu and Zor Maxim foil cards and the Donut Factory building, which is a stand-in for the industrial complex, just like the PPHQ is a stand-in for the corporate HQ. Hey, Tony, put it on the, on the pig cam. Krakenos is going to punch this. This, this, is the, this is the Donut building. I haven't painted it yet, so I didn't play with it today, but there you go. That, that is the building you can get. This little nice, like, old-timey cookie donut factory situation with a big donut and a chomp. So he punches that's, that. That's in the new crush market. It hits. And I fling him. Yeah, and sure. they both die. Sure. Get it out of here. Sure, they're dead. I get you right back. Good job. Uh, is that where I want to stand? Right here? Or right, there, or right there? I think I'm fine right there because you can't throw me into any buildings this way. The best you can nope. do is come throw me into a just, fire. Just fire. I can throw you into these double rubbles. Uh, double rubble? Your go, Oz. Mm -hmm. So I come back at you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. You threw me six. Throw so you in a fire. I do two damage to you. But I, I, I can crush this guy if I throw one, two, three, four, five, six. If I throw you six, I can crush that guy and get a power die out of it. True. And also take a power die away from you on your next monster turn. Not that that might matter. RuneWise says the donut is the plus one speed building. It is. It is. It's the industrial complex, which is a factory with a smokestack and stuff. Donuts make you faster. Yep. They're sugar. Yeah. And it's a donut factory. It's yeah. a factory, just like No, donut donuts complex. make you faster. So I'm going to walk over here. Hello. Are we just going to throw each other back and forth between this it, fire? We may just do that. Uh, it might just be what happens. Okay, so white die. Blue die, hyper, gets four power attack dice. So um, the other thing you got to remember now 
that I'm hyper is I have beatback. And beatback is... It's on your blast though, right? Up, yes. Up to two spaces in a straight line. Yeah. So I could push you into a building or a fire or whatever if you were close to it. What me. buildings? Look I, at the I, table. I, there's buildings on the table still. Um, I still have high impact. And I have return fire. So if you miss me with a blast attack, I can roll the same dice you rolled on me and shoot you back. I am never going to shoot at you. And I'm never going to be near a building. But it's good to Anything know. Anything could happen. It, it can't. So I need to roll six reds to throw you in that fire and crush that little dude. Get it. Um, I'm basically, I could roll one less red and not c crush that little dude, mm -hmm. and, and so that, but that red's coming back, back to me. And I am throwing you farther away from me, which is good. So, six, seven, eight, and a half, and I gotta roll a 10? Mm -hmm. I gotta roll a 10. I don't really wanna spend a lot of my reds. I'm just defense 10, man. So I'm gonna spend uh, a total of five whites. Because that'll keep me with four whites, so I can oh. take another monster turn. Oz, uh, I forgot to energy cycle. Okay, sure. Did you get it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. How far okay. are you throwing me? I'm throwing you six. So, so on top of that, Shadow Gate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! So I get a power die back for that. And you take two damage. One for the hit, but, one for the fire. But why? But why? Because I want to. I want you to die. You're gonna throw me back in that fire now? Yeah. We're just gonna fire swap, just trade back and forth? Yes. All right, is that you, Ox? That's me. All right, I'm gonna put two red here. Actually, wait. Nope, no, 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 nope. I step. A boop. Sure. So now you can't throw me back in the fire. Sure. Uh, I get two reds. You get two reds. Yep, you have two power points. How much life do you have left? I have four hit points left. You're going to have to probably get both your monsters back there. <laughs> but he's a little slow. Meh. He's speed five. Um, and for anybody out there who hasn't played on Monster Apocalypse map yet, they are 19 by 17. They're 19 long ways this way and then 17. So they're, they're fairly big. You said like no red dice though? I have five red dice. I don't have a way to get more very fast. Because I killed all your units that were giving me red dice and blew up all your buildings. So. Sure. Tanner, Tanner says, that's my comet shard. I'm going to come stand here. Tanner painted the comet shard. Oh, Tanner's, Tanner's one of the people that was in the painting parties upstairs. That's right. I, I was not aware. Regular painter party. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so a lot of these models, to thank Two. people, a lot of these models have been lunch painting parties. Jack and Jack and Fonz and Stu and Tanner and other people whose names I can't remember off the top of my head have gotten together and painted models so that we could make sure we had enough buildings and stuff because I've painted a bunch of my models. Hungerford's painted his, a couple things of his and he's working on more stuff. But getting a whole bunch of people to pile on and paint a bunch of stuff. And that's another reason we, have, we haven't played Riot Quest yet is because the painting parties are also painting up Riot Quest models. I'm going to throw you. You're defense seven. I am defense seven. I throw you. Where you throw me to? Uh, here. What? Okay. Actually, I'll throw you here. I took a damage. Take a point of damage. Sure. Did Did you move your hit points last time on Maxim when I did two damage to you? You didn't. I threw you on oh. fire. I'm at three. Yep. You're at three. You're right. Uh, I get one white back. Yep. You're in front of white back. Um, Are you going to punch that, that shard? Yeah, Tanner's, and I'm going to... But Tanner's shard. I'm going to punch the building. Don't punch Tanner's shard. That's a seven. Actually, I'm going to step twice. Step closer to the, build, the, the volcano. Come on, man. Be cool. Yeah, no. I'm just going to step twice. Make this an even fight. So I'll come stand here. What? I will block you out of this corner. So that mm. you can't run there anymore. Your well, go, I wasn't Oz. planning on running there anymore. Okay, so I take a monster turn, I don't power up. So, yeah, I am still going to stand there because oh, yeah. I, I want but to. But you're not going to swing on that building? No. Okay. I could take a unit turn. So what are you down to now? Three? Down to three. Okay. I could take a unit turn. You could, you can't take a monster turn. I can't. You don't get a monster turn. That's true. So I don't take damage yet. 
I will get a monster turn before you get a monster turn if I take a unit turn now. Yes. And I can try and bite Hammerclack and, and grab some power points and things and make you fight me for them more. True. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to unit turn instead of monster turn. Okay, All right. so I am going to spawn a saucer. Saucer's going to be there. Hello. Saucer's going to transport power pods, so that's going to cost me those. Um, I need an elite chomper, so I need to spawn an elite chomper and a normal chomper and then attack. That's not a lot of dice, but it might work. It might roll a nine. You got this. The other thing I could do is I could come after these guys and take away your power production. You could. And maybe even one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't really have enough guy. I don't have enough spawn points close enough to that building to secure that building. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go for the Hail Mary chomp and just see if I chomp. See if you you bite a chunk of squid meat? Yes. Give me some squid meat. Punching squids. So I spawn those two guys. Those two go back to my monster pool. I spawn that saucer. Yep. Oh, one of those guys is an elite, so I spawn that. Okay, so the saucer goes to there. Yes. Spits out a power pod. Hello. That's adjacent. Power pod moves. So that happened. Unless cargo doesn't let them move, but I think it does. Transport, I mean. Transport lets them move. Yeah. But he's only speed two, so he's really slow. And then I roll six boost dice and two white dice, and I try to get a nine. I assume he's going to bump up. Yeah, I forgot. He's, he's, he's walking up. Is one of those an elite? Yes, the, uh, the, okay. the darker ones are elite. So. You're trying to roll only, a nine? Only a nine. Only a nine. Frothy Cat, thanks for the go go Rogzor. I appreciate it. That's not a nine. Although, tried. it was a couple doubles. It was a six it tried. on those dice. So one more double, and we would have we would have totally bit you in the butt. It was worth it. Is that you, Oz? That is me. I'm going to spawn the Carnadon party. Carnadon party. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of uh, trapped back there. Uh, they're each going to need to die. They are going to each need to die. Beep. Pop. Which means I get to spawn three more things. Uh -huh. I will spawn because I just want to go take spots around the city. Or do I want to take like tanks and stuff? Hey, Clockwork, Mobius, they didn't know those volcanoes were there. Those were dormant volcanoes when they built this city. And then suddenly, volcanoes all over the place. This was a happening, like, Ibiza-style party island. And then suddenly they realized volcano party. And then Hungerford made it worse by adding more volcanoes. It's his fault. Man, and, I have no idea what y'all are talking Striker about. And Striker 11 Ubercore will help rebuild the city for the better. Because Ubercore, they're bad guys in the, store, in, the, in the games, but they're not really bad guys. They're just knocking down old, useless buildings and, you know, making money. What's the defense on a power pod? Two? Power pod's defense is two, and a saucer's defense is two. Hitting a two is hard. Hitting a two is hard? A two with is a hard. jet? Yeah. Hitting a two is hard. Wait, Riker, no, no Riker, tank. Don't, don't cheer for protectors. Look at the advantage Hungerford has right now. I have three health on the table, and he has eight. And I have somehow managed to, to, to drag this to getting closer to finishing off Maxim. I, I can't finish off Maxim now, basically. At least I'm pretty sure I can't finish off Maxim with my one monster. Hmm. I guess I'm actually not going to spawn this G tank. Okay. You gonna jet? You gonna jet me? Yep. To death. So this jet's going to come here. Okay. This jet's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Yep. And the party's going to roll the up. The party's going to roll up, of course. That's what the party does. Party. Party's going to party. So these two are going to combine ranged in on. And do I want you guys to go anywhere? They're pretty happy, good yeah, spots. Pretty happy where they are. These so two are going to combine on the power pod. Yep. Need a two. Got it. Barely. Glad yep. I did yep. that. Get a red. <laughs> if I could have put another power pod out there for redundancy, I would have. Because that's why there are two power pods in this army, to make your opponent kill both of them. Because power pods get you an extra power die when you power up, but they don't stack. So if you have any power pods, you get plus one. Okay. And now I need to roll a seven on this many dice. Yep, because you're flanking me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a bunch. 
12. Take a sure. point. I have two hit points left. Your go. What am I gonna do now? Monster turn. You can throw me into fires. True. I can't throw you into fires. Also true. I can't body slam you into a fire. Also true. I can't do anything to max them to do more than one damage. Also true. You have three hit points left. I can't also kill true. Maxim before I die. Yes. Can I do anything else of any substance besides just shoot Maxim? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you just roll out? I'm just, I'm just curious. You'd be like, do I'm it. done. So if I go up to here, I'm lined up with the volcano. Yep. Which is enough damage to kill me. Yeah, I think I think the next time you take a monster turn, unless your dice just poop out are the worst, you win. I, if beat back, if, if there was some beat back possibilities that were awesome, I could get Maxim into a fire. And if I might miss though, or or one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my advance. Mm -hmm. One step. Two steps, three steps, four steps. One, two, three, four, five. Four steps. I do that. So you're gonna come beat me back into the yep. shard? Yep. The Carnadon party, no! One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four, five. I counted that wrong. I guess it was five steps. I don't know how I counted it wrong, but I did. Because what's your range? My range is five. You're gonna shoot me and beat me back into the shard? I'm gonna shove you in that shard by shooting you in the back of the head. Oh God. Um, I need, okay. So he's a gun guy, so when he goes hyper, he gets the six blues. Yep. I need to hit a nine. Yes. I'm gonna get two power dice back for this. Yes. Because you're gonna knock that building down and you're gonna take three damage. Also true. Uh, that would give me a lot of power dice. Not a lot of power dice, but some power dice. But I'm going to die anyway because you're going to kill me. Um, so let's just roll all the power dice and do as much damage as possible and then see what happens when you take a turn. Okay, so I need a nine. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I do have penetrator on oh, my gun. Eight. I forgot. You're an eight. Thank you, Frothy Cat. Yeah, thanks, Frothy Cat. One, two, three. It's, it's, a, it's a very small ability, and I was looking at the other ones. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So I, I need an eight. And this, this should get an eight. If it doesn't, I'd be sad. So double, double, double. Yeah, Ooh. double. I got an eight on doubles. And that is combustible? And it is not incombustible. So yes. So I and go it down. It shoves you two spaces in a straight line. I go down to two. You go down to two. The smoosh. When I. Is it. I'm not advancing. No, you didn't. You got you got moved. You did not advance. All right. And I get two power dice back for that, and then you win. Is it my turn? Uh, I could I could try and step around, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to let you win. I mean, do you want to step around? I mean, I I this fires here, like you do super damage on throws yeah. or whatever. I have a seven. I have a range seven throw that does super damage. Yeah, you'd have to get to me, but like. If I step a bunch, no, I can I, I can swap these guys seven spaces. Oh yeah. There's there's nowhere I think you can yeah, actually. I could try and run away, but I'm not going to. I don't think it would help. All right. So the question comes down to Zor Maxim. He gets penetrator and can roll. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then yep. one, two, three, four. Be five steps. Yep. Then I would get to roll three blues, four five whites and five blues, and I would need to roll a seven to hit you. Uh-huh. So that is pretty risky. Or Kraken Octus goes one, two, three, four, five. Or Kraken Octus walks here. Yep. Rolls eight dice, three blues, and or five blues and three reds, and tries to do a super swat that does super damage and kills you. Mm-hmm. I think Kraken Octus is safer. Let's see. I have to either roll a seven on. Let's do the math. Let's do some Mompak math, everybody. Mompak math. So if we're doing Zormaxim, this should be three. Crack, crackalicious. 
By the way, Trotsky says Crackalicious. This should be two. That should be five. And then this would be, be about seven. A little bit over a chance of seven, which is what I would need with Penetrator. And I could throw you in the volcano. Because three. With Maxim? With Maxim. Okay, sure. That's what that should be. You this could would be throw me into two volcanoes. Ooh. Double volcanoes all three. the way across the sky. Alternatively, Kraken Octus rolls this, needing an eight. Smaken Smake and, Smake and That's weird. Reynard Mary. I don't know if I approve of that. Yeah, and, and William says I'm lined up with a bunch of damage. So Yeah, and this this is the roll with Kraken Octus, also needing so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish. Yeah. I think the Kraken Octus play is actually the better math. It's it's a little better because more white dice. So Kraken Octus is gonna go. Yep. We are going to SWAT. Because our SWATs do super damage and they go seven spaces. Uh-huh. And you've only got two health left, right? Uh-huh. So we're going to SWAT that guy. Okay. I must roll to hit him first. You must roll to hit him. You got a lot of dice. And I guess we're gonna just in case things go real, just in case real gonna, sideways. Max One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You gonna, question you, mark. You're gonna use a diagonal. Yeah, I use my diagonal. It's gonna be there. Yep. All right. In case things go super, okay. to, super sideways. So first, you got this. You need. This a, is me hitting three. the chomper. That'd be so funny if you missed. Miss the chomper. I think I might not be able to contain myself. I am okay, going to so fling this him. This guy's dead. Into Rogzor, which does super damage. Uh huh. Thanks to what? Slingshot? Thanks, thanks. thanks to wind up. Yeah, so this is a SWAT, so it does super damage. Alright. Rolling an eight. Easy game. There's some, there's, there's some doubles. So That's you, you six. Have. Oh, yeah. So we got six, you got nine. Four, you got four in doubles. Wow. So yeah. You got me. Whew. Bam! I, um, I just got a chopper up my chomp hole. <laughs> got you with the old newly arm. I, know how you love, I love how you love newly arms. Man. There you go. So, Hammer Clack and Kraken Octus. Rogzor, why were you such a pain in my butt to kill? Because that's what Rogzor does. He's not fast. I love Rogzor. He's got a gun, and he blows up all your buildings. If I would have taken the first turn, I would have got over there and, and messed with your power production. So, man, I love Rogzor. Kraken Octus and Hammer Clack come out in May. I don't remember the release date. I can't remember if they're already out or not. Kraken Octus like. is freaking awesome, by the way. Yeah. Holy crap, super damage swats. And throws well, are so great. So Gorgadra does super damage on everything he does. Swats, throws, body slams, everything. Yeah, but Gorgadra's so. not defense nine and high perform and have uh, squid meat. No, he doesn't have squid meats. He but, just has a big old belly. Yeah, there you go. go. Big fluffy boy. Mm -hmm. I would have had a lot more power mm -hmm. dice if I would have had Gorgadra on the table. So, there you go. Oh, uh, Travis says Hammerclock is May 17th. So yeah, they're... This is the 10th. They're releasing in a little bit. If you're watching this in the future, they're available. And there's more beyond yep. that. Well, so. GG Oz. Yeah. Uh, everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. Before we get out of here, as the stream ends, as we leave for lunch, yep. we're going to be debuting today's Infernal Friday video, which should be coming up on the stream any second now. So thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Next month, we don't know what we're playing yet, but there's a good chance we might be playing Riot Quest next yeah. month. So keep an eye out. We'll let you know if it's ready. Yeah. Till next time. Bye. Enjoy the video, everyone. Hi, my name is Kelly Yeager. I'm the technical director here at Privateer Press. And today we're going to talk about infernal models that are coming up and some of the challenges we face in production. Working on the infernal models, we were given a pass to take things up a notch. And in some cases that meant making harder models, but everybody in-house was willing to go that extra mile. A lot of times it's a matter of uh, team commitment on how willing we are to undertake challenging parts and just make more dynamic details. And I get to make sure that they have those little refinements. The Infernal Warcaster Amadamos is a bulky model. I think we did a great job with the detail size and level on it. A lot of the details are really punchy and nicely sculpted. The shoulder armor has these huge spires that come up and that was something that we, we weren't really comfortable doing that in resin, but we were worried about the modeling experience and you know, having those pieces break on, on our customers. And nobody wants that after they've taken time to assemble and beautifully paint a, a piece. Some real finesse work has been done to ensure that that model is gonna go together nicely. I know it's gonna be a great model when I assemble the model and it goes together like a dream. A lot of people don't love assembling models and we really try hard to make the models 
go right together, fit great, not a lot of putty work, and it's gotta look good, it's gotta have the gesture. I get really excited about seeing the finished original sculpts. On a lot of these, the smoke is nicely just really churning and has a lot of nice movement to it. It can be hard, tedious work to produce all these models. When people really realize how much their work can affect somebody's experience, it can be easy for them, though, to get on board and go, yeah, let's do this. For me, the most satisfying thing about the production process is that the work that I do and the work that all the people I work with do can really have an effect on somebody's experience when they're gaming. We want to give them something that they're going to love when they get it. Thanks for joining me today. Watch out for Infernals releasing a lock and load this year. You're going to want some.